Hey everyone and welcome to a new video on Byte of Geek. Today, well, I'm going to be sharing with you my Home Assistant dashboards, uh, what I've gone and done so far. Um, yeah, maybe it'll give you some inspiration, but I'm going to be going through what I've, I've gone and set up, the layout that I've got, uh, the approach that I've taken on some things, and uh, you know, I'll touch on some of the automations as well, but they're going to be for a separate video. Um, you know, maybe you've got some thoughts and comments about it. You, know, you can drop those down below in the comments as you've, uh, you've seen it. Or maybe you've got uh, you know some some thoughts and ideas, and you want to share that with everybody else. Or maybe you actually want to you know uh, you're brave enough to share your dashboard in a, an upcoming video on the channel. So let's get into taking a look at my dashboard. So what I'm going to go through with you is my mobile version of my dashboard. I actually have two dashboards. I've got one for mobile phone uh, devices and then I've got one which I am going to um, basically use for tablets or the, you know if I've got it on the computer screen something like that. So uh, same kind of information on there, um, just a different layout I guess is, is probably the way that I'm working with that. It is still work in prog progress, those ones that are on kind of like a wider format. So first up is kind of like the, the front page, the home page of my dashboard. And, uh, you know, I've got uh, myself, you know, family members at the top here, and it's kind of like got our location information as well as our battery, mobile uh, phone battery information on there. Now, um, I'm actually using uh, card mod to, to basically combine uh, combine these two uh, entities together into into one tile each there. So um, you know that was relatively straightforward to achieve that if you you know you're able to follow the uh, the instructions. Um, but you know I think you know it it kind of makes the layout work a little bit better for me. Um, I'm then basically got a bit of a, a room overview, some of the kind of like the key rooms within our uh, home. So I'm using the um, minimalistic area card here. Um, originally I did kind of use some of the other area cards including the one built into Home Assistant but they, they just take up too uh, too much space really on a, uh, a mobile device so um, you know what I've got here you know I've got I've got the lounge the dining the kitchen kind of like the main bedroom the guest bedroom and uh, the office you know kind of the room that I'm in at the moment and you know I've got various kind of like um, temperature and humidity in there um, you know I'm using a Cara um, temperature sensors to gather that information uh, and then there's kind of you know the the key devices that are in those rooms so things like lights uh, you know television uh, computer if it's uh, if it's the office uh, and then we've got you know nice little weather card here um, you know r realistically you could use any weather card uh, that, that you wanted there um, you know I'm just using one that I've found through hacks and then uh, I've got a snapshot view of uh, my fr the camera from my front door uh, front doorbell um, so that's uh, that's kind of what I've got on the front page there each of these things obviously you can press into so you know if I look at uh, the kitchen for example you know I can I can go and look, look into that and uh, you know I, what basically I've done with the rooms is to split it down into uh, you know various sections so I've got uh, you know devices and I've got sensors and I've got automation so these are automations that I can manually go and trigger um, myself so um, you know in this particular area here you know we've got kind of like lamps in the kitchen uh, we've got you know cabinet LED strips under cabinet LED strips we've got an air freshener so that's just a plug-in air freshener that's plugged onto a smart plug and then that comes on um, at a certain time of the day. We can also trigger that uh, with um, some key phrases to our Echo device as well. And then we've got a clothes dryer again. It's kind of on a, on a smart plug so we can control that. There's the Echo dot there. Um, and then, you know, I've got a section under here with sensors. So, um, you know, there, there are various uh, kind of um, uh, you know integrations for getting your refuse collection uh, from your local um, you know council websites or stuff like that um, my local council doesn't actually give any kind of calendar out or anything like that it actually just updates it on a web page so um, you know I've got uh, a couple of um, basically sensors to go and scrape 
the uh, the dates from that website and then um, basically depending upon where it is in the week it will then tell me whether it's a, a, a bin collection you know normal refuse collection or whether it's a recycling uh, week um, you know we need to put the appropriate bin out for that um, and then we've got things like door sensors as well and then um, down at the bottom a recently added one I must uh, I must add um, is the, the smelly kitchen with a little cat face so we have our uh, little cat who um, yeah he yeah so so that that will make that air freshener come on for 30 minutes uh, if we need it um, when we look at things like the lounge so uh, you know the lounge has got uh, you know the television there uh, we've got lamps and we've got echo device as well uh, and then we've got a couple of scenes here movie lights and and tv lights so um, they're basically you know i can manually control those scenes if i want to um, but depending upon um, you know what is selected on the uh, to play out through the television you know i've also got automations that will um, manually um, or automatically go and run those scenes as well so if i switch to say for example disney plus then uh, you know it will dim the lights down and uh, you know if that is paused or we we exit from that and come out into normal tv then the lights will go back up again um, you know i've got uh things like the the office so you know what i'm in at the moment uh you know a number of items in here so we've got uh notable things so uh you know the um the network uh my NAS, you know there's a poor man's rack uh system here uh just a little cheap cabinet for a, for a bathroom but you know it works well um i've got my nook obviously home assistant running on that and then i've got things like printers as well so um, but some of these tiles give extra information as well. So, you know, if we look at, uh, say, the Nook and I press on the Nook, then, you know, I get, um, you know, disk use, disk free, CPU and memory, um, you know, and I can obviously click into those things there. Um, you know, network, I've got, um, you know, the, the traffic and a speed test on that as well. Um, so, you know, various various extra bits of information on there um, there's a motion sensor in here as well so that is in combination with the with the ceiling light um, you know if it's too dark in the room it will turn on that light uh, if motion's detected um, a scene so um, you know i've got various lighting effects which you know if i start doing recording then i can just set that scene as well and then just a couple of little uh, tiles down at the bottom that just lets me know if I've got updates uh, for either the NAS or for Home Assistant. Um, you know, I've got things like uh, the garden soil sensor that I re recently put that uh, in one of the videos. So, you know, starting to build out a, a kind of like a, a page for that, really a dashboard for that. Um, and then, you know, I have a, a little uh, test page as well. So, um, you know, something that I'm working on at the moment. So, you know, whilst this says, disable alarm that's that's not part of an alarm system it's something that i'm playing with with regards to um, amazon uh, echo devices and uh, a motion detection so um, you know that will come along in a in a future video uh, you know on the top here you know we've got the uh, little chip cards on the on the top so you know if i was to uh, you know if i was to go and turn on um, a light in the uh, office for example then uh, you know on here it actually says that there is a single light on and i can press on that and then i get the light there so basically it's, it's an entity list of uh, all the devices that have been activated on that and that's just using kind of um, you know things like groups and things like that so you know if you want to see more of that kind of stuff you know i can do a video of that just you know comment down below i can do something coming up in the in the future um but yeah, you know, really kind of, uh, you know, starting to build it out. What I will say, this this kind of minimalistic area card seems to work better on uh, on a dark theme rather than a light theme. Um, you know, I think the, um, the the creator of that just needs to kind of change some of the, the color scheme on that. But um, yeah, I, you know, that is kind of what I've got so far. Uh, obviously, you know, lots of lots of automations that I've, I've kind of like built up over the time since since kind of like getting going with this 
you know, which I'll go through in another video if you guys want to see that. Um, but yeah, that is my dashboard that I've got there, the kind of the layout that I'm going for. Um, you know, I'd love to know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. You know, is that, uh, you know, something that you like the look of is, you know, is it too simplistic, you know, too, too much for you? I guess, you know, leave, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Um, but hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Uh, hopefully it's given you some ideas for your dashboards. Um, you know, if it has hit the like button and, uh, you know, subscribe to the channel for more content like this. But as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.